Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I'm really excited today because this is my first ever hot sauce review. I'm so excited. Um, I'm really sorry about my junky kind of background. I don't have any sort of backdrop yet. So you know what, we are just gonna have to live with what we got for now. So I would like to say a huge thank you to Erin over at Coney Island Saucery for sending me this to try and review for you guys. She also sent me a little sticker. So I'll be sure to put all their links down below. You guys can check them out. I'm really excited about this because, uh, yeah, I've never obviously been sent anything to review before. This is my first time. It calls for a celebration. I, I don't have anything to celebrate with, but we're just going to pretend. So I'm really stoked, as I've said 10 times. So the sauce that they sent me is the Trailer Park Boys sauce. Yes. I'm so excited to try this. So let's read what the back says. Heat level, 420. I don't know if that's supposed to be 420 or just 420. We're gonna find out. Coney Island Saucery crafted the perfect hot sauce for discerning Trailer Park Boys fans. Decent hot sauce is a Louisiana style garlic forward hot sauce with a silky texture and the right amount of heat. Made with fresh all natural ingredients and made by hot sauce fans for hot sauce fans. Pairs well with greasy burgers, chicken fingers, pepperoni, scrambled eggs, or any food you want to make. de he he santa All right, so I think I'm going to try this on its own, and then we're going to go make some nuggets because I'm vegetarian, so I don't have, like, wings or chicken fingers, but I have any nuggets. So we're going to, again, do what we got. The reviews on the back are, it's actually really effing good from Ricky. It's scrump dilly from Bubbles. And Bubbles, your mom is hot, just saying, from Julian. It is vegan, vegan, gluten-free, and Sasquatch-free. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Hopefully. I don't know, I think it's blurry, but. So let's crack this open. I have not tried this yet. If I can even get it open with my nails, honestly. Guys, I can't open it. <laughs> This is the problem with having nails, is you can't actually open anything. Okay. Let's see if there's another protective layer. Oh. Ooh. As if you guys can smell it, but pretend you can. Definitely smell the garlic. This smells really good. I'm really excited to try this. So I have a little spoon here. I'm praying I don't like spill this all over myself. There we go. I should have probably pulled it from the other one. So there I have my spoon. That's good. That's really good. Honestly, the heat is really not that bad. It's like the perfect amount of spice, honestly. It's like definitely has that kick, but I'm not like, it's not like the noodles, you know? I'm not like, oh my god, I need water. Oh, that's really good. You know what I think that would be really good on? Like a chicken burger. Like, you know when you have a chicken burger and you're just slathered in sauce? I know I'm vegetarian, but like, I can still reminisce on the old times. I think that would be perfect on that. So we're gonna try a little bit more. It's definitely garlicky. That's so good. It's definitely silky. It almost has like a bit of an oily feeling, but it's not too bad. But you know what I actually love about this is it's not vinegary. I'm personally not a fan of vinegar at all. So a lot of times I don't like a lot of hot sauces because I find them too vinegary. That's why like I would rather just use like fresh jalapenos, hot peppers, stuff like that because there's no vinegar, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make some nuggets and I think I'm going to actually like coat them. I was going to dip them, but I think I'm going to coat them. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. So slight change of plans because I could not find my nuggets anywhere and my freezer is so jam packed that things were flying at me everywhere. So instead I found these. So because I sure have said I thought it would be good on chicken burger, I have these uh, vegan chicken sliders. So it's like a mini fake chicken burger, but you know what? We're going to see how it is. So as you can see, 
I've completely covered it with sauce and there's a bit of extra sauce on top. I'm so sorry, I can't really zoom in any better. So we're gonna try this first. And I also brought over some ranch and garlic aioli to see if it complements well. So let's try it on its own first. I'm really nervous with it being on my lap. I don't want it to fall over. And I just have uh, so some spinach on it as well. I just, I really like spinach, honestly. All right, so there we are, let's see. super good but I'm actually gonna put on more sauce so hang on all right so I've added some more sauce so you can see it's dripping so let's give her another bite I'm trying to get the top button back on exactly where the bite was it's not really working oh well It's delicious. It's so good. It is honestly like the perfect amount of spice. The garlic complements so well. I'm not in any sort of pain. Like it's just, it tastes so good. I love it. Honestly love it. Okay. So now let's see. I don't want to stop eating it, but the review must go on. So first let's see what should we do first? Garlic aioli or ranch? Just the Heinz garlic aioli. So I'm just gonna squirt a bit onto the plate and I'm just gonna dip it. Came out a lot more than I wanted. And so I'm just gonna dip about like that much. I love garlic aioli, but you know what? I think with it, it overpowers the sauce. So let's try ranch instead. I mean, it's possible I could have just used way too much garlic aioli because honestly, uh, just hidden valley. Dip that. Try not to get as much this time. I can't even taste the ranch, so I'm gonna <laughs> try a little bit more. So. The ranch I don't even notice. But the garlic they only was too much. So I honestly think your best bet is just using the sauce. It's so good. It's so flavorful. It doesn't need anything else. And that's when you know it's a good sauce, you know? It's not like you're like, oh, I need to add all this and you just want it to be like a background taste. Like this is like the main focus and it's so good. Oh, I love it. Honestly, I never want to eat these little chicken burgers without it. So so again, it is the decent hot sauce from Coney Island Saucery. And I want to give a huge thank out again to Erin for sending me this review. I hope I didn't let you down. Um, I'm going to put all their links down below. Make sure you check them out. And I'm so excited to slather this all over everything I eat that is not noodles. <laughs> all right. Well, this has been fun. This was fun to do. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope you guys check these guys out because... Okay, till next time. Bye guys.